We have made tremendous strides in improving the outcomes of patients who are diagnosed with breast cancer. But there is no question that breast cancer is still the most commonly diagnosed cancer in American women. I think there's a, an increased knowledge that we need to make sure that our community has about how we can make outcomes as good as possible. So if one in eight women gets diagnosed, what can we do for those women to make sure that they do as well as possible from that cancer diagnosis? So I think one of the first things we can think about is just prevention. What can we do to take good care of our breast health? Uh, how can we do, reduce our risks in terms of what we eat and drink and what we're exposed to and how we live our lives? So prevention is a really important part of what people should be aware of. And then I think the second part of that piece is to make sure that if you are at risk, make sure you get screened. And screening isn't something that everyone should just do without thinking about it. I think it's a balance of the benefits and trade-offs of cancer screening, but there's no question that for patients at increased risk of breast cancer, their screening should follow a different sort of pattern. They should probably be screened more often, maybe with a little bit more sophisticated technology than just mammograms alone. At the Duke Breast Oncology Program, we're incredibly fortunate to be able to offer tremendous resources to all of our patients. And so if you feel that you're at risk for breast cancer, if you've been diagnosed with breast cancer, if you have questions about how to optimize your breast health, please reach out to us. That's why we're here.